Hey everybody, this is Cowboy at Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Today I want to give you a quick tour of my shop. Show you what I have in the line of sewing machines and what makes everything function. That's 1916 Singer 29-4 Trottle Machine very very handy I use that for uh, sewing if I gotta get up inside of a boot or get up inside of some place that I can't get with a regular sewing machine that's the GA5-1 you've probably seen that in one of my other videos moving around always gotta have bins and place to keep your uh, spare rivets and other hardware all those are buckles snaps rings d-rings some of my patterns for my holsters and purses and bags more rivets Now one thing you got to have, it comes in very, very handy. This is a piece of polymer, real hard. Use it for uh, punching holes, or as a backstop for punching holes, cutting at belt ends, anything that you don't want to tear up your tools with. I recommend if you're going to do any punching or anything like that, to have yourself a block of wood, good piece of wood or something like this so you don't dull your uh, tools this is what I use for uh, tooling it's a piece of uh, granite that's a cutout out of a uh, sink these are all my tools bag punches and edgers Skives, more hand tools, something that comes in real handy, 36 inch metal yardstick, ruler, whatever, hammers, scissors, I try and keep everything all, all in one spot where it's easy to grab a hold of, this is where I do most of the, uh, Cutting out, laying out, gluing, whatnot. This it I find is also a very handy tool. It's a rotary cutter. My wife don't know I have that out of the house, but it comes in real handy for cutting uh, some of your thinner leathers. Makes quick cut. This here is just a bag I've been working on. It's gonna have it's a line with pillow ticking gonna have a uh, shoulder strap these are brass rings to just set it off I like to make make things have a little bit of bling <clears throat> excuse me now I've got my shop set up so I can sit in that chair and work over here at this table and when I need to get something stitched up I just spin around and I just go to my my machines now I've got this over here. I got this at a yard sale. This is a uh, brother machine. I use that for the lighter leather cloth if I have to stitch up something. It all it'll go through uh, upholstery leather. It'll go through up to about early, probably two to three ounce leather. Some of the leather I have that's a piece of uh, oil tanned. Brown. These are just samples I use for showing people what we make and how we make it. Bags. I'm starting to get inventory back up again. I got kind of lax. And we've got veggie tanned, sheepskin, all kinds of leather up there. 
you got to keep it up out of the way. All right, that's just the leather shop. Now we'll go over to the shoe repair side. That's an auto solar for sinking nails into heel boot heels. These are all shoes that have been repaired or need to be repaired. That is the boss of this whole shop right here. That is a uh, Landis 12K. That's for stitching up. Uh, soles and we got a nailer that's for boots cowboy boots auto solar or yeah auto solar that's for lady shoes I got two of those the green ones for sale if anybody needs one now we come over here this is a multi-functional multi-purpose tool or machine I should say it's got, those are your buffers, polishing. It's got two sizes of uh, sanders on it. These are belt sanders. That's a fine grit. That's a coarse grit. That's for take, this here is for taking the edges off of where I can't get in when I have to uh, replace heels. All of those right there are edgers. They're steel wheels, and they've got like a knife on them, and it will edge up anything. I use that for shoe soles, heels, whatnot. This one right here, that one uh, edges and rounds it off. That's handy. Now, this machine here also comes in very handy for doing the leather work, because I can come in here and put a holster on it, and grind it, buff it, or edge it out real nice. I got this here. I don't use this only for just buffing out shoes. This is for edging, putting uh, edge coats on, different colors of Yankee wax. You get this thing cranking, you take that, and you hold that Yankee wax on here it'll get warm it'll stick on there I use it for putting that putting the edges and uh, slicking the edges up on holsters bags whatever and this gives me right here this is an ed an edger for varnishing so you can take you get it get it warm by just taking and flipping this lever and that piece rubs up against that up against this wheel and makes it hot and then you take some of this smaller stuff and you just touch it on here and then you run your piece you run your leather edge on there and it slicks it up real nice like I say very handy machine it's mainly for doing uh, shoe repair but it's a multifunctional. I use it for shoe repair and for doing the leather work. That's called a numb keg for doing real fine, taking bridges out of uh, shoe soles or just dressing them up. You got work tables, glue pots, stuff like that, more extra pieces, parts. All this stuff in here is for shoe repair. And I got this machine here. That's a sole nibbler. It'll nibble leather off, dress it up, trim it up. Here's another machine that's multifunctional. It's a uh, six and one. You can cut, excuse me, five and one. You can cut leather here. Come over here. That's for crimping edges. And this wheel right here will uh, skive edges off of your leather so you can seam them together. That's a sole and 
heel press all this stuff in here oh there's uh, shoe stretchers just got a whole lot of stuff when you do shoe repair and do leather work you got to have a lot of tools because you never know which ones you'll need but anyways that's just a quick tour of cowboy leather and shoe repair if you like this video go down on the bottom and click like or subscribe everybody have a good day and we'll see you at the next video bye now